an amazing day here in the United States. We have a, a new president, and though we could not be in Washington, D.C. to be part of the excitement, my dear friend, Sarah Silverman, is there. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Oh, look at this. Where are you right now? You're not going to believe this, Jimmy. I'm at the after party in Oprah's room. Really? And is that, are you in the, or Oprah's bathroom? Ye oh, yeah, now I'm in the bathroom. I just, I needed to get out of that dress for a second. Okay, nice. And there is, I noticed there's an O on your bathrobe there. Is that um, for Oprah? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Oh, no, we're at the, um, we're at the Omni. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> So you've been there, I know you've been there all weekend, and for all the festivities, ha have you had a chance to meet Barack Obama? Uh, yeah, Jimmy, we drove here together. Oh, you did? <laughs> I can see you being sarcastic, but, um, you know, I, well, I saw your interview with, with Keith Olbermann earlier tonight, and you did a fantastic job with that. Thank you. Yeah, you know, I know you don't like to toot your own horn, but I was actually no. surprised to see how many nice things you had to say about President Bush. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I really did. I, I think it's important to to respect the past if we're going to, um, I don't know, something in the future. Yeah, I can't right. think of anything on the top of my head. Well, for those who didn't see it, here, I think you, you'll enjoy this. This is Sarah Silverman earlier tonight with Keith Olbermann on MSNBC. Roll it. Sarah Silverman joins us from Los Angeles. Sarah, your, your great schlep video, uh, I think it single-handedly secured victory for Barack Obama in this election. <laughs> well. Thank you. I don't think I deserve all the credit, but I'll certainly take it, so thank you. And now, of course, after eight long years, we finally say farewell. Perhaps uh, more appropriately, we, we say good riddance to George W. Bush. And, and looking back, uh, how would you rate his presidency? Uh, Keith, I'd, I'd have to give it a 10. Excuse me? Yeah, I, out, of, out of 10, right? Yeah, 10. You're, you're talking about a man who abandoned the hunt for bin Laden to start a needless war based on lies and... Keith, you're embarrassing yourself. Look, did he do some effed up stuff? Maybe. Uh, did he pull some, some crazy S? Sure, I guess. But you're only seeing him through one perspective. You're only seeing him through your eyes. Well, what part of myself would you suggest I see him through? How do I explain it so the liberal media can understand? Uh, I got it. Let's take a look at some of the true accomplishments of one of America's all-time most recent presidents. You know, any idiot can crap all over George Bush, but to see the good he's done takes a genius. A super adorable genius. I mean, think about it. He made the nuclear arms race fun again by calling it nuclear. And I issued a statement saying that we would work for a nuclear weapons-free Korean peninsula. <laughs> so cute. like. Pisketti or bathing snoot. Too small of an accomplishment? Fine. Try this one on for size. George Bush is also a lover of smooth jazz, and I think we can all agree that evil can't exist within the mellow arms of smooth jazz. It's too smooth. You know what else? People spend so much time criticizing Bush for the terrible things he did do. What about the terrible things he didn't do? He didn't blow up Canada. He didn't fart all over your food. He didn't punch a giraffe in the face. I mean, people love to complain about him. What about the war in Iraq, Sarah? What about his big war in Iraq? Uh, you mean the war that gave Iron Man, like, way more meaning? When George W. Bush said it's time to invade Iraq, he couldn't have told us the truth that he was trying to revitalize Robert Downey Jr.'s career. No one would have believed it. But history's vindicated him. And that's the key to understanding misunderstood leaders. I mean, take Hitler. Obviously a monster, but war with Hitler propelled America into, like, 50 years of unstoppable productivity and innovation. And guess what? Now we have iPods. So who cares if Barack Obama can put together complete sentences and is internationally liked and makes me feel like Christmas lights are going on and off in my pants? It doesn't mean our old pal George doesn't deserve a proper goodbye. So Mr. President, if you're out there, from all of us in America and all over the world, bye.
Well, um, I'm not really sure where we where we go from here, uh, but uh, uh, Sarah, thank you for your time and and your. Uh, no, wait, wait! I'm not done. Oh, I'm sorry. Please continue. Forget it. I'm done. Bye. That was a great job, Sarah. Thank you very much. Sarah? What? Uh, never mind. Sarah Silverman, everyone. We'll be right back.